All right, let's be honest here. I just spent my entire morning trying to stop Windows 11 from sending my data to Microsoft. Four hours, for actual hours of my life that I'm never getting back. I disabled every privacy setting I could find. Turned off telemetry. Stopped background services. And you know what happened? Windows Update ran overnight and turned half of them back on. Meanwhile, my friend, who switched to Linux six months ago, she's already done with her projects, finished a workout, and she's cooking dinner, so I had to figure out what's going on. What are Linux users doing differently? And after diving deep into this mess, I totally understand why they're smiling right now. So here's the situation. I've been documenting Windows 11's privacy issues for the last month. The diagnostic data collection, the advertising ID tracking, Copilot sitting there analyzing everything you type, and the response I'm getting is absolutely wild. And here's what nobody at Microsoft wants you to realize. On Windows 11 Home Edition, you literally cannot turn off all the telemetry. It's impossible. Microsoft built the system specifically so that some data collection always stays active. That's not an accident. That's intentional design. Check this out. There are something like 52 different privacy switches spread across six completely different settings, menus. You spend 90 minutes hunting down every single toggle, clicking them all off, thinking you've finally achieved privacy. Then Windows decides it needs to update at 3 a.m., and boom, half those settings are mysteriously back on. You're literally playing an endless game with your own machine. Oh, and we need to discuss Recall real quick. This is Microsoft's newest AI feature that captures screenshots of your entire screen every couple of seconds. Everything you do, every single thing. Microsoft says, relax, it's optional. Everything stays local on your device. We even added encryption after the backlash. Great, fantastic. Except independent security experts already discovered it was recording passwords, credit card information, and banking credentials. All the sensitive stuff it's theoretically designed to ignore. Want to know how Linux users reacted when they heard about recall? They didn't freak out. They didn't scramble to disable features. They didn't need 25 forum posts explaining complex workarounds. They literally just laughed because this entire nightmare doesn't exist on their systems. Okay. So let me demonstrate something that completely shocked me when I first experienced it. I'm going to perform the exact same operation on both systems. Just clearing your activity history. That's literally it. Windows 11. Launch command prompt with admin privileges. Searching for it. Enter the stop service commands. Oh great. Access denied error. Obviously. Search Google for solutions. Try and task manager now. Still blocked. Why is everything locked? Back to forums. Someone somewhere must have figured this out. Try the whole process again. Maybe this time it actually worked. Who even knows? Total time, anywhere between 15 to 40 minutes. Linux, open terminal, type r, mrf, dot cache. Press enter, finished, five seconds. It's completely gone. Actually deleted. And I'm not talking about gone until the system decides to resurrect it. I mean permanently deleted, erased, finished. You can move on with your actual work. But hold on, doesn't Linux collect your information too? Here's what's actually crazy. Modern Linux distributions like Ubuntu and Linux Mint have absolutely zero telemetry by default. Nothing. Zero. And if any company tried sneaking, tracking into the system, the open source community would immediately expose it and create an alternative version within days. That's the actual power of open source software. The entire code is publicly available. Everyone can examine it. No hidden features, no secret data collection. Let's continue because this gets even more interesting. <laughs> Windows can't remove Edge. Can't fully uninstall Copilot, OneDrive reinstalls itself like a stubborn X. Linux, you want Chrome, install Chrome, done with it, actually delete it. Gone permanently. No hidden processes running in the background. Updates. Windows says, we're forcing an update in 5 minutes whether you're ready or not. Hope you saved your work. Linux says, hey, updates are available whenever you're free. Install them now, later, or never. Your computer, your choice. Who's really in control here? Windows spoiler. It's Microsoft controlling your machine. Linux, it's genuinely you. And that AI assistant everyone's concerned about that captures screenshots every few seconds. On Linux, there's zero AI surveillance unless you specifically choose to install something. And even if you do, it's open source software that you completely control. I'm not saying this because Linux is objectively superior like it's some kind of tech rivalry. This is about using an operating system that actually treats you with respect. Okay, okay, I can literally feel your questions coming through the screen right now. Let me address the major concerns. But gaming doesn't work on Linux. You know the Steam Deck that everyone's obsessed with. The one that keeps selling out everywhere. Yeah, that runs pure Linux. Actual, real Linux. Linux currently supports approximately 85 to 90% of Windows games through technology called Proton. Most major titles just work. You hit play, and they launch. And here's what's interesting. 
many games actually perform better on Linux because you don't have Copilot, Recall, and dozens of background services absolutely destroying your RAM while you're trying to enjoy yourself. But Linux is way too technical. I'm not a developer. Okay, watch this. I'm installing Linux Mint right now while we're talking. Click Install. Click Next. Next, type your name. Create a password. Click Install. Done. 12 minutes total. That's everything. Meanwhile, installing Windows 11 forces you to create a Microsoft account. Answer 30 questions about privacy, settings, sorry, personalization options, and basically sell your soul to the automatic update system. If you can handle Windows, you can absolutely handle Linux. They look nearly identical nowadays. But I need Microsoft Office for my job. LibreOffice free opens every Word document. Excel file, PowerPoint presentation, interface is similar enough that you'll adapt in maybe 10 minutes. But my workplace uses Office 300. Office 365 is cloud-based. You know what runs web browsers? Linux? Firefox works flawlessly on Linux. Chrome works perfectly too. Problem completely solved. You're not losing functionality, you're gaining peace of mind. But you know what? This really isn't about technical specifications and performance. Benchmarks in which operating system can run more software. It's about something much more fundamental than that. When you're using Windows 11, you're constantly fighting your own computer. Why won't this file delete? Why did Windows re-enable all my privacy settings again? What data is Microsoft collecting right this second? Why is my computer forcing a restart when I'm literally on an important video call? You're perpetually on defense, always reacting, never truly in control of your own machine. But with Linux, you simply use your computer. It does exactly what you tell it to do. It doesn't phone home. It doesn't restart without permission. It doesn't re-enable settings you deliberately turned off. The operating system works for you, not for Microsoft's data analytics, not for training their AI models, not for their diagnostic telemetry programs. Look at this. I'm going to show you what my Linux machine is doing on the network right now. See those connections? Those are applications connecting to services I deliberately chose for purposes I completely understand and wanted. Now let me show you Windows 11. What even are all of these? What data are they transmitting? Why are there dozens of connections to Microsoft servers? You know why you'll never get a straight answer? Because the code is proprietary, locked away. You're not permitted to see what your own machine is doing. This is exactly why Linux users smile. Not because they're trying to feel intellectually superior to everyone else, but because they stopped fighting this exhausting battle years ago. They use computers that respect them, trust them, work for them instead of against them. And once you genuinely experience that freedom, there's absolutely no going back. You cannot unsee it. So what should you actually do with this information? Look, you don't need to abandon Windows tomorrow. Here's how I would approach this. Download Linux Mint. It's completely free. Create a bootable USB drive. There are hundreds of tutorials online. It's incredibly straightforward. Here's the amazing part. You can test Linux without installing anything. It runs directly from the USB stick. You can explore, test your applications, see how everything feels. Zero commitment, zero risk. Your Windows installation remains completely untouched. Windows 10 support officially ended October 14, 2025. Microsoft wants you to throw away your perfectly functional computer and purchase new hardware just to run Windows 11. Or you could install Linux on your existing PC for free, and it'll probably run smoother than Windows ever did. Here's my challenge for you. Try Linux Mint this weekend. Just once. Put it on a USB drive, boot it up, explore for 30 minutes. You don't need to make any decisions today. Just experience what it feels like to use a computer that isn't constantly fighting against you. Because here's what Linux users figured out years ago. The best antivirus, not Windows Defender. The best privacy protection, not even a VPN. The best way to genuinely control your computer. Use an operating system that was never designed to control you in the first place. Drop a penguin emoji in the comments if you're actually going to try this. And listen, if you've got specific concerns, what about this particular program? Or will this specific thing work? Drop those comments too. I'll personally answer every single one. Look, I've spent months battling Windows just to achieve basic privacy. I'm completely exhausted. Maybe it's time we all just stop fighting and try something different. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see what's genuinely possible beyond Windows. Because I promise you, it's significantly better than you imagine. See you in the next one.